Please, help stop this madness. You must help my daughter. Shaman Yarnag, he's attacked us. Shaman Yarnag caught my daughter with the son of the Drublog chief Ulagash. We normally live near the Drublog with only minor squabbles, but now they've gone too far. Not this time, but I fear Shaman Yarnag now plots against us. My daughter was in shock after the attack. She refused to speak to me. Please see if Delaneth will tell you anything. Someone must stop the Drublog before they move against us. I left Delaneth in the village. She said she'd be praying to Zen in the meantime, the dear girl. Please, do what you can to help her. I'll wait in the valley near the Droblog's home. Building up a staff. Good thinking. We didn't mean to cause any trouble. How can love between two people cause so much suffering? It all happened so quickly. I don't... Shaman Yarnok came at us in a rage. He screamed that we were unworthy to pray at Moloch's shrine. Then he drew his weapon. Ulagosh, my love! You have to help him! I hoped we would be one day. But Shaman Yarnok saw us embracing by the lake a few nights ago. He must have told Chief Ulakaz. She flew into a rage. Since then, all arguments end in bloodshed. Peace has been torn asunder. In the eyes of Zen, all love is welcome. But worshippers of Moloch, like Shaman Yarnog, feel orcs should keep to themselves and not consort with other races. My dear Ulagosh must still be with Shaman Yarnog. I fear for his life. Please help him. They were still in Moloch's shrine when I ran away. I think Ulagash was stabbed by the shaman. Have mercy, Zen. Don't let us be parted like this. See something shiny. His blood is on your hand. You will hold a massacre in Moloch's honor.
The village. I couldn't help them. So many dead. Oh, Zen, what have we done? A bloodbath. Chief Ulukas killed them all. So much screaming echoing through the entire valley. How could this have happened? Is this the workings of the shaman? Zen, this is too much for one to bear. My daughter Delaneth. My child. I couldn't find her before I was forced to flee. Some villagers went to hide amongst the forest. Please, can you find them? They may know where she's gone. Must be our lucky day. Did it not be my time yet? No. Only the raging droblog. Zen, why have you abandoned us? Let's see what you're made of. Don't trust the orcs, I said. But did they listen? Now they're dead. All dead. No, the poor girl. I can't imagine these beasts left her alive.
should have been prepared. Who are you? Zen? What have we done? I haven't seen her since the attack. I've got to get out of here. Let's knock some heads. Did you find anyone? Delana? Did you find any? They must have taken her. Wouldn't a father know if his daughter died? The Trublog destroyed our entire village. Monsters, all of them. My daughter's actions never warranted this madness. We welcomed the Trublog. We shared a single cup in friendship, and this is what they return? Chief Ulukas was honorable and just, but Shaman Yarnog changed that, and all the others followed his bloodlust. Nothing more than animals they are. My friends, gone. My daughter, missing. What is left for me? I've nothing left except rage and grief. Chief Ulukas must pay for this massacre. She must die, blood for blood, payment in kind. Such is Zen's will. It's the only path left to me. She must have taken my daughter, so she must die. Chief Ulukas will be in her longhouse above the shrine to Morlock. When she is dead, find me in the shrine of Zen across the stream. I must pray for guidance. Ready to ride! Get him. going to end any other way. Please, help. The Drawblog. The Chief. She went mad. Ulagosh and I, we tried to stop her. And Shaman Yarnog. He used Ulagosh's blood. The Chief's son. Shaman Yarnog meant to kill me. But Ulagosh stopped him. He took the blow meant for me. Please, you have to end this. Tell my father. No more blood. Got to be better than that to stop us. Along came a traveler, seeking and offering wisdom on the path to enlightenment. Delaneth told stories of these journals, and now you bring them to me. Hmm. Since the earliest days, blood and toil have known no end in our hearts. Morlock demands a blood price. 
Zen's price is no different. Our gods both demand payment in kind. Of course, that means each demand retribution against the other. In the valley, it has always been paid in blood. Every tale has an end. Every end allows a beginning to set hold. It is a balance, tenuous though it seems to be. Zen's presence fades from this world as Morlock grows stronger. Perhaps these journals will give comfort to those who fear the end. Brew something nice with that. What news? Have you found my daughter? No! My flesh and blood stolen from me by those twice cursed fiends. Zen, this is too much. I beg you, don't give me this burden to bear as well. Curse Ulagash! Curse them all! Don't speak to me of sacrifice. Ulugush was a Drablog, same as the rest. I told her no love could live between the Drablog and our people, and now she has paid the price. The Drablog know only blood, and blood they shall have. My daughter only ever wanted peace. Perhaps the chief's son did too. But their blood has forever stained these lands. There's no going back. If I don't stop the Drablog, the suffering will continue. The curse is the only way to end this. Zen answers my prayers. The Drublog will finally pay. I must speak with you. I am the Herald of Zen, Keeper of the Balance. I collect and assign the debts of the faithful. I am here to stop this cycle. The Drablog paid many times over for the death of Mothragor's people. His curse will only feed Moloch's fury. He offers his blood as sacrifice, calling upon the forest itself to mete out justice. But it is not justice he seeks, it is vengeance. Zen will not have more blood shed this day, but one death is better than many. If you cannot stop him, I must. What can you do? What you must. Marthragor has put his trust in you before. You have the chance to guide him away from this path. The spoken word can shape the future in ways stronger than the tears and blood of thousands. If your words ring true, perhaps Marthagor will see a new path. Zen would abandon me in my time of need? After all this, he gives me nothing? They've slaughtered my family and laid waste to my home. They will answer for their crimes. If Zen won't help me, I will find another that will give me justice. I will not. They must all pay, do you hear me? They must pay with their lies. I'll suffer no drublog on these lands as long as I draw breath. Delaneth, if I could see you once more, I would know what to do. She would weep if she saw me now. She only knew kindness and love. Why did I survive while she died? You're right. I must find the balance again. First, I will find my daughter, hold her one last time, and try to remember the lessons she taught me. Then, I must rebuild. Perhaps I will find the concept of balance once again. If that is to be my burden, I carry it gladly. Shendi writes as fast as possible, but still these spinners come up with more to say. After uncountable generations, they still change the story. 
Do you know the story of the Sylvanar and the Green Lady? Or should I say, one of the stories? As many stories as there have been Sylvanars. Going back to the first Bosmer, no doubt. But the story the spinners are telling now, it's all wrong. It must change back before it's too late. Ah, you've never been here, have you? This is a temple to the spinners, the Bosmer who make reality with their tales. Let me take you to Elilor in Veilguard, and perhaps you'll see why the story must be corrected. You are very kind to help, though you do not seem to know Veilguard's importance. Perhaps Shandy can explain things for you. Let's move! Good to get stocked up. Our oh, hand fast is useless. It holds none of the magic it once had, and it's all Spinner and Drothith's fault. What's gonna happen to the Sylvanar and the Green Lady if the story's changed? We tell the story of the Sylvanar and the Green Lady, their union and reunion in their every incarnation. Spinner and Drothith begins and ends our stories, but she's changed things. Now the story is dark and wild. And we've no power to change it back. Only Spinner and Drosseth can start this story. But once it's started, it can be retold. You may be just what this story needs. A fresh idea added into the mix. Look closely at the Handfast to begin the tale. Spinner and Drosseth won't be able to resist. I would tell you... You wish to hear the story of the Sylvanar and the Green Lady? I will do one better. Come forward and witness my creation. Spinner and Drasseth has taken you into her story. I think this means that you're telling the story with her, through your words and actions. How exciting. Well, the Sylvanar and the Green Lady need to be happy together. How that happens changes with every story. So I think you must go through Spinner and Drasseth's story and make sure that happens. Everything else will work itself out. You've started the story. I thought Spinner and... The Sylvanar. First of the wild children with eyes open. He alone knows the ways and wiles of the Valenwood. What use is the Green Lady to him, I ask you? A distraction, nothing more. The true purpose of the Bosma was revealed to me. With our unquenchable thirst and never-ending hunger, we become the devouring beast. Without the Green Lady, the Sylvanar will fall. She will return to the wilds, and the Bosma shall follow. They must never be together, from the beginning, now, or in the future. The story will change to keep them apart. As they should always have been. The Hound calls the Green Lady, and she will answer. The Sylvanar will be no more. I know where she's going. If you're a part of the story, you can enter. The quarry faces the hunter at last. You won't stop me from claiming my prize. 
She is my puppet, just like all the other creatures in this story. Her weaknesses allowed me to enter. You can't thwart me. You know nothing of the spinners and the power they wield. You may know me by my Daedric title, but for now, I play the part of the Hound. I created a wedge between the Sylvanar and the Green Lady. The Hound is a convenient scapegoat for my invention. Story? No. It is a vision of what is to come. Shaped Are you another creature come to torment me? I've had enough of this maze. Speak, apparition! I have always been within this story. I am the Sylvanar, the immortal spirit of the Bosma. I protect and nurture the heart of our people. You have met one of my incarnations, I think. If that is true, then I would know you as friend. Yes, even I have felt the change. The story seeks to destroy me. You must not allow this. I will summon my allies, but I cannot do this alone. Will you help? You must use my plant allies to defend me. Fire stands against fire, like against like. I feel them approach. Be ready. They come. Like stands against like. Choose wisely. draws me away. The Daedra opened up... Blasted all, nothing stays! A thousand plagues on whoever invented this infernal device. I dictate the story to this parchment, and nothing happens! I bought this parchment from a trader in Bellarata. He promised if I told my stories to it, they would bond to it and become permanent. Forgive me, it's not your concern. I'll make it work. I can't write. I'm a spinner. I talk. Forget parchment. We need to invoke the ancient rites of flesh and blood. With Horvor blood and a chunk of Old Tusk's flesh, the tale can write itself. Through the caves, you'll find the grove of insects. If you follow the story's path, you can't miss it. here. Show yourself. Who are you? Where did you come from? What am I doing here? Wait, I think it's all coming back to me. Yes. No. I was trying to destroy the Sylvanar in our story. Why in the two moons would I do that? There's something else in the story. I feel it inside me trying to get out. Trying to control me again. Listen. Take the essence of the Sylvanar. Guard it. Keep it safe. The Green Lady must unite with the Sylvanar as always. Find the Green Lady and save her as you save the Sylvanar. The Hound calls me. I cannot resist.
You follow me to my home? I should bite your feet off and see how well you run. The Hound is my consort. He has shown me the way of the wilds, and we rule over the forest together. I need nothing from you. I am the Green Lady, the immortal aspect of Bosma Strain. I take orders from no one. The Hound told me the story, and it excites me. If he's a part of this, then so am I. The story shall include us both. I don't know that name. Hmm. Yet I feel something when you say it, as if this were all a dream. No! You said there would be temptations, charlatans, liars! The beast will take care of you! End of the Sylvanar, the Green Lady went by. The way is blocked to you, but I can clear it. Shall I lend you my aid? Nasty, biting bugs are useful. Their insides spit and burn. Bring such parts, and I will clear the path. Friend of the Silver. Shield your eyes. If the acid splashes upon you, all would weep. Behold, your path is clear. You defeated him. I didn't think it was possible. I see that now. His story is not mine. The incarnation of the Green Lady must know you. I will entrust you with my essence. Complete the story as it should be told. Marvelous! Down this ramp lies the hollow chamber in which our story can be lured from skin to flesh. Words aren't easy to catch. We Bosma don't force sounds into symbols, so we'll make them write themselves. Enter the chamber in the great tree and slather the blood on the skin hangings within. The blood will pull the story from the animal skins and into Old Tusk's flesh, then we'll seal them to the flesh with fire. I've cast a spell within the chamber. The blood awakens the words spoken to the skins, refreshing them. They'll bond with the nearest flesh, the chunk you took from Old Tusk. Meet me by the fire pit at the bottom of the tree when you're done. I failed my duties as a spinner. The story comes first, above all emotion, above all pity. I pitied the hound, but it was a trap. And now, the Sylvanar and the Green Lady will always have, and always should, join as one. 
You've recovered the essence of both the Green Lady and the Sylvanar. Grant that power to the Handfast, and their story will once again be about their immortal union. The other spinners await you below. sure if Shandy's stories came true, I would also be a bit strange. Roasted meat? Smells like a wood elf delicacy. Is it lunch? Strange markings branded into it. Wait, are these... Did he write their story on a block of meat? Unusual, but not unworkable. Shandy will make this less edible and more readable. Thank you for your gift. I'm sure if Shandy's... It's beautiful! Thank you. You've done it! The immortal story of the Sylvanar and the Green Lady has been put right again. But tell me, who corrupted Indrazith in the first place? Did you find out? I've heard that name before, I think. But it fades when I try to remember, like a bad dream. Still... Gloomy thoughts do not become us now. The spinners will sing your story with gusto, a tale of harrowing adventure and wealth beyond measure. 